Hey Bob, how's it going? Another exciting day in paradise. Boy, oh boy, is it a great day to be alive, especially when you consider the alternative. That being said, I don't know if I've talked about this before. Um, I think I might have, but I'm, I'm going to just go a little bit further into it. Um, and that is appreciating where you came from. Appreciating what, it, what makes you unique, what you've dealt with in your life to get to the point where you're at right now. That incorporates positives, that incorporates negatives. But I think what a lot of times people don't really think about is how the negatives had a positive impact on you as well. Uh, what do I mean by that? I'll give you a good, good example. Um, when I was when I, near the end of my military career, I was dealing with marital issues. I was dealing with it with drinking upset, uh, a lot, a lot. Um, my marriage failed. I ended up getting a uh, DUI dealing with those issues. I got a DUI and was uh, general under honorably discharged from the military service because uh, in the military, uh, one alcohol related incident and they kick you out. Um, so I dealt with that incident um, in the wrong way. I proceeded to basically become a, a man whore and I, I worked at a strip club as a bouncer I drank continued to drink obsessively and I ended up being um, homeless for a couple weeks uh, all these things were rough situations I was dealing with transitions and so forth in life um, but then again I wouldn't have met my girlfriend here in Jacksonville. I wouldn't have met the amazing company that I work for right now if those things hadn't happened. I wouldn't appreciate things more. I think I feel like everything that you deal with, even if it's hard, it molds you to be who you are. Just like in the military, a lot of times people are like, why do you have why does it have to be so hard in basic training? Why has it got to be so hard? Well it's got to be hard to toughen you up. It's got to be hard so you can handle pressure of combat. Because otherwise, you might not be able to handle that. Same goes with life. You have rough situations you deal with in life. You have tough situations. Like, why did I have to deal with that? Why did I have to deal with bankruptcy? Why did I have to deal with losing my house, losing my car, or losing my job, or something like that? Why did this have to happen to me? Why me? Why? I think what we need to do a lot of times is really think of the overall picture of why things like that happen and realize that maybe it happened so that way something better could happen to you in life. You could take a different role in life. I wouldn't be actually talking to you on these videos probably. I wouldn't be doing video game streaming. I wouldn't be pursuing some of my goals had that stuff not happened to me. I'd still be in the military doing a job that really, to be honest, wasn't meant for me. So, the takeaway from that is that everything that happens in life for a reason. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. But don't think because something bad happened to you in life that there wasn't a good that came from it. There wasn't an appreciation that came from that. My financial qualms, problems I've made financially, were tough. They were tough. But I learned my lesson the hard way from them. And I'm not going to make those mistakes again when I... I, I got a loan for a house with my ex-wife uh, and then several months later realized how stupid that was because she did, wasn't living with me at all because I constantly was out in the field training for missions. So I ended up trying to sell it back. Oh, it was when the housing market crashed. So I found out I was going to lose way more than I would have gained if I sold it back. So I had to rent it out. Renting it out to somebody caused the people who stayed there to ruin the place. I had to foreclose on that property. I had to get rid of it. And I also had to file bankruptcy during that period of time as well. But I'm not going to make that mistake again. I tell you that my, right now, I'm not going to make that mistake again. So, long story short, if you have something that you really dealt with in life that was really hard or good, and you're wondering why it happened, sometimes think a little bit further into it. It happened to make you who you are. It's made you unique. And you should be appreciative of that and not, don't dwindle on how, 
how bad you had it. Oh man, how it was so horrible. Like, man, my life sucks. Uh, this and that. Don't dwindle on that. Be appreciative of the lesson that you learn from those circumstances. And uh, that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I best get back to work. Uh, but I will see you all tonight uh, and probably t tomorrow as well. I'm going to do a lot of uh, streaming this weekend. So um, otherwise, you all have a fantastic day. Back to you in the studio, Bob.